We deserved better. We deserved better from the Mistler Hinokami Chronicles. But yeah, guys, welcome to the game or to the video, I should say. I'm gonna be explaining why we should have gotten better and why Demon Slayer in a comic chronicles is genuinely disappointing so this is going to be split into three categories first I'm going to be talking about the online experience and why that's disappointing then I'm going to be talking about the game fundamentally or at its core and then I'm going to be then next I'm going to be talking about the combo structure and why that's disappointing as well and I'll be also talking about some positives in the game at the end of the video but yeah, as far as online, I'm just going to start off with this netcode. I'm sure all of you that play Demon Slayer or have come from Storm 4 to Demon Slayer or have just been on Twitter have seen the uh, community talk about the netcode. Like, the netcode is bad, man. The netcode is bad. Like, we're in 2021 where rollback netcodes exist. Obviously, in certain situations, it can't be applied to arena fighters, but we definitely could have gotten um, a better quality netcode. Like in the vein of Naruto Generations that had a better netcode than Demon Slayer Storm 4 has better netcode than Demon Slayer My Hero is One Justice 2 is one of the arena fighters that have has um, the best netcode out of arena fighters so we could have gotten that as well but the fact that we got this in 2021 and we recently had the pandemic so it put a great emphasis on having better online infrastructure in terms of netcode and we just didn't it's just genuinely disappointing like oh my goodness like i'm going to show you an example there's a player called Django that i've played for years on storm 4 for years bro i've never seen this man have a boot have a yellow bar in my life we both use ethernet cables we're not wi-fi warriors like maybe i have seen once or twice but the fact that i'm saying never shows you how rare it is for me to see him having a yellow bar and we play so much or well, we used to not so much anymore but we played so much and the fact that we've tried to play demon slayer and he consistently has a yellow bar goes to show you like the worst quality net code that we have on demon slayer because the fact that he's not even a blue bar like come on man and this isn't the case with just him i've had this experience with two other players like it's just terrible man like it makes online matches feel so stiff so not smooth and it can create frustrating moments where you're just trying to play and the game it just isn't working for you whether it's stuttering or inputs are being skipped or whatever it's just the net the net code quality needs to be better man it needs to be better and it's not it's not acceptable man especially if you're trying to play the game competitively and we're just playing casuals that's a whole another issue that i even want to go into but yeah it's just it doesn't create a good environment to play for fun against your friends or to play competitively and then um, the next issue is you're struggling to find matches like i'm pretty sure a lot of you have had this experience where you go on and it's just searching for time you don't know what the reason is but it's just searching for time whether it's custom matches or casual matches or in ranked mode you just can't find a match and like it's really annoying for people that like work nine to five or don't have much time to play the game so let's say this is their favorite arena fight or favorite demon slayer game and they just want to get on and play a couple matches quickly they can't because the game doesn't allow them to find a match quickly like i don't know what the issue is whether it's netcode related um online related or whatever but like a lot of people have um you know have problems with this issue like it's not just me i've talked about i've talked about this on forms or in communities like reddit or just on my channel like a lot of people have this issue where they just struggle to find online matches like it's that becomes really annoying especially when you don't have all the time in the world to play demon slayer so you don't have time to waste to search for that one match to play and then you find that one match and it's a rengoku spammer or water wool tanjiro spammers or it's a person that loves to run away so the one match you did get wasn't even fun it just becomes a frustrating experience and then after that you don't really want to jump on the game anymore because if you do find a match I mean if you jump on the game you won't find a match quickly and if you do find a match quickly it's going to be against someone that isn't fun to play so that's another issue and then the third issue is servers not working like I think the servers were down there was a week where people told me the servers were down I remember I tried to get on and it just wasn't working I was like yeah I'm not going to stay here and wait till I find a match or whatever I don't care what the issue is I'm going to go play Storm 4 or I'm going to go watch chatting on Netflix watch Arcane guys but yeah like nah man like the servers were down like I know we have 
that same issue on sometimes with Storm 4 but like Demon Slayer is a new game it released this year man we shouldn't be having these issues where the servers are down man and like it's brand new like you want as much people to stay on the game especially fighting games because it's a niche genre you want as many people playing the game or coming back to the game like so let's say new people got it recently or whatever and the servers aren't even up it's just disappointing man you're trying to play the game you've completed story mode so there's not much to do there you're trying to play online with your friends or you're just trying to play your rank matches get your rank up you know or you're just trying to play casual burn off some steam or chill the servers are down it's just terrible man it's terrible and the next thing is ranked the ranked meta currently like the way ranked is set up now there's 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 so much rage quitters there's so much people that love to run away there's so much people that love to abuse the damage that Rengoku has and spam his DP or whatever or there's water wall spammers like there's so many unfun people to play against on ranked and you're just there trying to get your rank up you're playing Makimo you know you're one of the few people that are playing Makimo one of the few three people that are playing Makimo and you know if someone touches you twice especially if they're Rengoku you're dead it's just bruh so I have to chase you I have to deal with the netcode and the missed inputs and I have to like I have to keep playing you with your boring strategy of running away spamming push block in neutral and there's not enough ways to punish a push block outside of grabbing and getting actual damage off it like obviously you can go for chip damage sure but that's not really the most effective strategy to use to punish someone when they're spamming push block and it's just not fun man it's not fun to play those kind of people obviously I've put out guides and showcased how you can beat them obviously if you're a competent player a veteran player a top player you can destroy them like obviously but it's not fun to play against that's my main point it's not fun to play against you're trying to play the game to have fun and you're running into those kind of people constantly like 80% of the time it's just not fun especially when you're just trying to get your rank up like it's just it's just not it man it doesn't make for fun fighting game experience at all and then obviously as I mentioned earlier the rampant rage quitting like it's terrible bro so imagine you finally find a match after 10 minutes of searching you run into a Goku player like as soon as he gets the health lead because of his crazy damage he's just run starts running away the whole match like Rengoku's aren't the best at running away that's why you don't see them run away often but it still can be annoying to fight especially when there's limited ways to um punishing your opponent for running away obviously there's landing frames if they jump but if they're skilled at it if they're competent at it or if you're facing a top player that knows how to do it especially with Zenetsu geez louise the master at at with punishing and running away that's just annoying 100% annoying to fight especially when they use that strategy from round start jeez louise oh my days you don't want to fight it and then the netcode is fighting you is skipping input so that one opportunity that you got to punish him the game was like yeah nah I'm not gonna register your input or yeah nah I'm gonna start stuttering now I can see I can see you've closed in on your opponent and you're about to get the health lead back but I'm gonna start stuttering so you mess up your combo or whatever and then you're gonna have to catch him again it's so frustrating especially when you're when you keep running to that match after match after match it just makes you not want to play the game because why would you want to continue playing a game that's doing that to you when it's got those kind of players those kind of online issues you just don't want to play the game after that man you don't and then there's the desyncing issue so i remember i was playing yellow flash and we we're recording some matches well i was anyway and we had some awesome matches especially when we began to adapt and like learn each other's play styles there was one match where the way i baited this man's counter was amazing and then punished him afterwards but then i couldn't save it because after the match we learned that the match desynced so whilst i won on my screen he won on his screen and that's just unacceptable especially when you're trying to fight your friend maybe you're trying to record some high level matches or even a competitive setting you don't have time for that like let's say you're fighting in a tournament it's finals and then that happens like what the heck is unacceptable you spend all that energy to close out the round and let's say you barely won and then the, then the tournament organizer is like yeah it desynced bro run that match again you spend all that energy to win just for it to not count it's genuinely unacceptable and very disappointing no one wants to play a game like that no one wants to play a game like that especially if you love the game you want to enjoy the game you don't want to spend your days battling these issues and running into this you don't you 100% don't man and then obviously I touched into this earlier the water was the way people play in this game like majority of players it's disgusting man you don't want to fight it you don't want to fight it obviously there's multiple ways to counter it like if they person runs away you can get the health lead and run away or if they're spamming their you know 
their specials you can armor through it i've done guides on it check it out um but it's not fun to face it's not fun to face someone that doesn't engage with you or when they touch you once you lose like half your health it's not really fun it's not really fun it's not really fun i can't lie to you facing those kind of people on regular it's not fun there's counters to it but it's not fun at all i can't lie to you and then you've also got people kicking you so you join a lobby and then maybe you own them like a couple matches ago you join and they kick you straight they're like nah i'm not trying to lose any more points from you even though i played then then it's you and run away for the whole match or i just spam specials with goku i'm not trying to play with you i'm not trying to hold that l and people kick you so like all those issues combined and just add together to make a really unfun online experience you've got the terrible netcode the struggle to find matches the servers not working when you want to play the metal of ranked with people running away and spamming specials to get high damage off you when they only touch you once you've got the desyncing so your wins don't even count you've got the water war spammers and rengoku famers people that are just generally un unfun to play even if you can win against them you don't feel like it's satisfying and then you've got the people kicking you as well so when you do want to fight and you finally find a play player they just kick you so you have to go search again and you know searching for matches can take a long while it's just not fun it's just not fun at all man like oh my days like this is why i don't play um demon slayer online that much or a lot of the content you see from me is combo videos or maybe i'll play my friends sometimes when i'm feeling to play the game like outside of that the game isn't really that fun to play i'm not gonna lie to you like all this is based off a popular anime so if you do enjoy the anime and you want to play as your favorite characters whether that's Senetsu, Tanjiro and like the movesets are made very well like it's law accurate certain moves are very satisfying to do but the online experience man it ain't it man it ain't it man and then now to move on to like the core of the game there's like I'm sure you guys have seen it obviously the input delay like they've actually low-key improved it on the ps4 version i don't know about the ps5 since i don't have one if someone wants to you know plug me a ps5 feel free honestly i'll love you forever but yeah i'm like in terms of the ps4 version there was like really bad input delay to the point where like if you press the x button your character won't jump till like one second after like it, i know that's an exaggeration but that's how it feels basically to play it so and then playing that online as well it's basically doubled like they have improved it but it still doesn't feel as good as it should essentially it doesn't feel nurture storm full smooth if you know what i'm saying those minor interest storm four players will know exactly what i'm talking about but yeah it doesn't feel smooth it doesn't feel satisfying to move your character and you want that in a fighting game you want you want it to feel good because you're going to be moving a lot whether that's going in running away playing stationary defense defensive the uh, well not defensive defense uh dynamic defense you want it to feel good to move your character like obviously in certain um fighting games there's different archetypes like Garak um grapplers might feel heavier than you know the rush down char character that's fine but at the core it feels smooth it feels responsive and that's what you want from the character you're controlling and that's not the case for demon slayer obviously some people might disagree some people might fit might say like you know what moving my character feels smooth fair enough if that's you that's you but for me it definitely doesn't it definitely doesn't like even when you try it moves um precisely like take that little like one step it just doesn't feel smooth man it really doesn't and then the final thing is the way combos work here yeah, i don't like it it rewards special spam during your combos rather than combo complexity so the way the game works um Globoku did a fantastic video breaking down how scaling works in the game, so if you want to check that out, make sure you check it out. Starting a combo with one of your skills is the optimal way to start a combo. By unleashing skills at the start of your combo, your skill damage will come out unscaled and will leave you with a lot more time in your combo to deal even more damage. So whenever possible, your starter should be a skill. The dash itself deals zero damage, but it contributes to your combo counter. The bigger your combo counter is, the more attacks will scale. So that just nerfs combo flexibility for a range of characters because I can't do complex um, combos now unless I'm setting up for reset because it doesn't reward me with damage, especially when you have to spend a um, meter to cancel your combo during combo, whether that's movement or cancelling it into a special, you have to spend meter and it's limited. You only get what, like five bars and it replenishes slowly when you're doing a combo. So it doesn't reward combo um, complexity like that, it rewards special spam because from the first point of your combo if you do specials especially if it doesn't cause 
many hits to the character you get rewarded with damage so you're causing the community to favor um special spam during combos rather than um combo complexity like obviously the stylers and the lab monsters will still make um complex combos you've seen that in the communities um especially the competitive um demon slayer um discord shout out to them guys they be doing their stuff all the time but yeah, like obviously the lab monsters and the stylus will still look for complex combos but generally, especially in ranked and, and um, custom matches, you just see people whipping out the special spam during combos and it's like, it's not entertaining to, to, to watch, especially as a spectator sport or a game that could be in esports, it's not, it's not really <laughs> that interesting to see, unless you're setting up for resets of course, but obviously that's not guaranteed, resets is a mind game but um yeah like it doesn't reward it like the one character that does reward combo combo complexity and we need we need more characters in the game like this is um susamaru so the recent female demon that was added to the game i'm gonna showcase my combo video like there's so many routes that she can take and she gets damage of all of them like literally like she's amazing like labbing her she's the most fun character to lab for me like she has so many damaging combo routes she has so many routes that she can take to do a reset or to set you up for something else or to just make sure she has wake up options after she's finished her combo like she's an amazing character in terms of combo structure like she genuinely rewards combo complexity rather than special spam like we 100% need more characters like her like if everyone in the cast works like her bro the matches that we would see would be so much better like all oh my days like imagine more people like say like susamaru than rengoku like jeez louise the game the competitiveness for the game in terms of combos would be transformed overnight like genuinely like all oh my days and that's why it's so important for us to have better netcode and better online stability and better you know input registration and less input delay so we can pull off those combos offline and we can show people like yo look at the crazy combos that we can do in demon slayer man but we need more characters like her and we need need a better online environment so we can actually pull them off and it can actually be practical for us to perform online but unfortunately unless like you're a lab monster or you're really dedicated to your craft to show off the combos you're not really going to do it and it makes it not accessible for the wider community because not a lot of people are going to want off to put gonna want to put in the time to showcase those combos like you need to make it accessible 100% you need to make it accessible but yeah that's kind of that's kind of all the reasons why Demon Slayer is disappointing in my opinion like most of them boil down to the online experience but some of them can be attributed to the way the game functions in terms of input registration and input delay and combo structure as well as I've mentioned previously but the game the thing that the game is doing nicely is that the fact that you get an option to rematch your opponent after rank that is very sick like I've wanted that feature since I saw it in Dragon Ball Fighters I'm not gonna lie I was like yo Naruto needs this I want to be able to beat my, my opponent's ass again after I win let's do it man get that <laughs> Get, get streaked in ranked man let's do it and then you can actually do that in demon slayer if your opponent accepts obviously they can leave after they get they get they get hit with that first L. especially if you're a makamo player the embarrassment when they picked rengoku and try special spam you they don't want to feel that again bro they don't want to feel that again but yeah you get that option which is amazing and then obviously labbing in this game because it actually has combos unlike naruto is very fun like one of mo my most fun things to do is like lab combos in the game that's why you see so many combo videos from me like and whenever a new dlc drops i'm straight there in with a new combo like labbing combos is so fun in this game like i rank it up there high with my hero wants justice too because right a labbing combos in that game is very fun like killer kill has also um fun labbing combos but well, in terms of fun factor the highest for me is demon slayer is probably at the top and then a close second is my hero one's justice too but they're kind of interchangeable you could really put them on the same level but i guess i have recency bias so i'm just gonna say <laughs> demon slayer is the most fun for me but yeah like and then obviously we're getting the free dlc in terms of demons like very smart move for the um cc2 to make them free so anyone that has the game um gets to get them for free like day one like you literally you don't have to unlock them you just download the patch and boom boom so it creates that culture of content creators racing to get the first tod which is amazing because you get to see 
tier lose fast you get to see complex combos fast because everyone has access to it if you have the game and like um if you don't have the game you know that the, all the dlc you don't have to pay for it once you get the game it's going to become free so it increases the chance of you getting the game as well especially if you are one that got it during the black friday sales or any sale for that matter like yeah man so, so there are stuff some stuff that demon Slayer is doing well and it's mechanics and how there's a lot of ways to counter a lot of stuff but like with the issues that i mentioned in this video it just brings it down it just brings down the overall overall quality of the game like 100 percent especially when there's games in the past that have done what is doing better like it's crazy bro like in terms of Naruto Storm 4 because you know that's that's one of the recent games that Cyber Connect 2 has done why is the netcode for that game better than Demon Slayer Storm 4 released in 2016 Demon Slayer released in 2021 the developers have the tools to make outstanding netcode but either they didn't use them didn't think it was a priority I mean I don't know what issue they had like they haven't reached out to the community and say okay the netcode is this this and this because of x y and z we're working to improve it even that would do a lot for the community because it lets us know they know the netcode isn't the greatest and they're working on it but they haven't said that if someone wants to point out a message where they said that feel free in the comments below but to my knowledge they haven't said that so it just leaves us in this state where we don't know whether the netcode is going to improve or we're just going to have to deal with it obviously naturally we don't want to we want a better netcode so it's terrible like storm 4 shouldn't have better netcode than demon slayer demon slayer should have better netcode than storm 4 it should have it should be the arena fighter that has one of the best netcodes among the arena fighter genre obviously it can stretch out to traditional fighters and have better netcode than guilty gear for example because that game has very good netcode that would be absolutely amazing but when you have to temper your expectations because it's a arena fire we shouldn't be able to do that we should be asking for better we deserve better we're constantly um supporting these games as um arena fire community or the anime gaming community we deserve better from our games especially netcode wise 100 percent like it just needs to do better demon slayer needs to do better man it needs to do better and in terms of modes as well the lack of modes is disgusting bro we've only got casual right casual and rank that's it where's endless where's spectator mode where's tournaments where's league where you can actually play against a person so you can have up to four players this is in Naruto you can have, you can have up to four players yeah where when, once you're fighting you're fighting someone else and then your friends are fighting someone else as well so you're all fighting at the same time and then it changes you fight someone else so you fight the opponent that your friend was fighting and your opponent fights you know your friend the, the opponent that your friend was fighting like so you're all playing at the same time it's sick what are those modes? We know Cybertech Connect, Connect 2 can do it because it was in Nurture Storm 4 so why wasn't it in Demon Slayer? And we haven't got an explanation as to why it wasn't in like so we're just like bro what go on? Like this, this game really should have been an evolution of the games that have been in the past for Cyber Connect 2 and add on the good stuff that the games did well such as modes from Nurture Storm 4 especially how it is now it has a lot of modes to keep you interested whether you want to play in your friends or play competitively or you want to do videos as a content creator that's something for everyone but demon slayer doesn't have that bro it does not so you're really limiting the amount of reasons as to why people should one play your game two get your game three keep playing your game like or come back to the game like it's terrible man it's honestly terrible like i genuinely expected better from cc2 and we didn't get better we got a disappointment but yeah that's kind of it for my thoughts on the video let me know whether you agree or disagree with any of my points and we can have a discussion about it in the comment section but yeah if you want to see more of these kind of discussions like the video and let me know so i know to do more but yeah this has been mr air force see you guys later peace out